はい、I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with Dog. 皆さん、こんにちは。昨年、フランシスが旅立って以来、たくさんのメッセージ、本当にありがとうございました。今日は、フランシスが天国から見守ってくれていますので、精一杯明るく振る舞い、フランシスを悲しませないように頑張ります。今日は、炊飯器で中華おこわを作ります。ファースト。Drain the rinsed sweet rice with a mesh strainer for 30 minutes. As for the dried shrimp, soak them in 2 tablespoons of lukewarm water for 30 minutes. Add the shrimp liquid to a measuring cup. Fill with water to equal 180 milliliters. Place the sweet rice into the inner bowl of a rice cooker. Pour in the shrimp stock. Then cook the rice in sweet rice mode on the rice cooker. If your rice cooker doesn't have a sweet rice mode, select the white rice mode instead. Meanwhile, let's prepare the ingredients. Coarsely chop the rehydrated shrimp into smaller pieces. As for the shimeji mushrooms, remove the stem ends and tear them into individual pieces. Now, let's make the seasoning. Combine the soy sauce, oyster sauce, sake, sugar, pepper, and water. Mix thoroughly. Cut the pork shoulder into 1 cm cubes and pour the sake and soy sauce over it. Thoroughly rub the pork with the seasoning until all the liquid is absorbed. Next, heat a small amount of vegetable oil in a pan. Place the pork in the pan. The diced pork cubes are visually appealing. But you can also use ground pork. Brown the pork cubes and flip them over. When both sides of the pork turn golden brown, place onto a tray. You don't need to cook the pork completely at this stage. Clean the pan with a paper towel. Add the vegetable oil again and reheat the pan. Add the minced ginger root and rehydrated shrimp. Stir fry the ingredients. When the aroma grows stronger, add the shimeji mushrooms. Distribute the oil. And stir fry until the mushrooms are slightly softened. Stir the seasoning and add it to the ingredients. Cook for 2 to 3 minutes. Then add the shelled amaguri chestnuts. Now add the pork shoulder. Continue to stir fry and reduce the seasoning until most of the liquid is reduced. Finally, add a small amount of sesame oil and distribute. This will help to bring out the aroma and the flavor. Turn off the burner and the ingredients are ready. When the sweet rice is ready, lightly loosen up the rice with a rice paddle. Then, Add the seasoned ingredients to the inner bowl. Using the steaming hot rice will make it easy to combine the ingredients. Distribute the ingredients evenly, but be careful not to crush the rice grains. Close the rice cooker and let it sit for 5 minutes to even out the flavor. Now the chuka okwa is ready. Place the mixed rice into a bowl. Finally, 
garnish with the chopped spring onion leaves to taste. This recipe doesn't require soaking the sweet rice in water or steaming the rice, so you can easily make chuka okwa. お肉の香ばしさと栗の甘さがお互い引き立て合ってとても美味しくできました。This is a great bento ingredient since sweet rice is tender even when cold. You can also make onigiri rice balls and keep them in the freezer on standby. Good luck in the kitchen!